Hey, brothers and sisters, soldiers and warriors, chosen vessels, this is your sister Fire. Welcome back to my channel, to everyone. So I want to talk to y'all today, and this is actually going to be a confirmation for a few people, okay, because the Holy Spirit has already placed it in my heart, and that's why I'm doing this message. So, um... I want to talk to you about how it is time for you to wean out and cut off the Judases in your lives, my brothers and sisters. Yes, I said it is necessary for you to wean off and cut, or sorry, wean out and cut off the Judases in your lives. Now, Judas was a disciple of Jesus Christ and he played like he loved Jesus so but then he sold Jesus out for 30 uh, shekels of silver okay 30 shekels of silver he sold him out to ultimately be murdered or unalived let me say that um, unalived and so he may have at one point actually had love for Jesus. He may have. But at some point in that relationship, Judas got jealous and envious of Jesus. And he decided to sell him out. He gave him a kiss and then betrayed him. And so, my brothers and sisters, we have to overlook or do a um, examination of whom we're around and whom we are allowing around us. And the Holy Spirit will always let you know if someone is for you or against you. And when you um, have gotten that unction and that confirmation, that this uh, certain someone is a Judas in your life, coming as a friend, coming as a uh, potential husband or wife, but is really a counterfeit, okay? Coming as a bestie, a best friend, but is really a counterfeit, counterfeit best friend, is really fake really doesn't like you, really don't rock with you like that, but they just trying to get close to you so they can learn and know how you do what you do. So they could potentially maybe steal your ideas, steal your style. You, I mean, it, 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 the, the, the levels and lim, um, the levels um, that people will go when they are jealous of someone and envious of someone, um, I mean, it's out of this world. It's out of this mind. You know, it's out of your mind. You're like, wow, they really did all that? They really didn't even rock with me like that? And the reasoning behind it is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's just sometimes just unbelievable. But yet and so, this is really going on. This is really real. And this, you know, could ultimately lead to your demise like it did with Jesus. But see, Jesus knew that Judas played a certain role in his life. He knew that Judas was going to betray him and he had to allow that to happen for, you know, him to uh, lay his life down and then be brought back to life with all power in his hands. Okay. So Jesus knew what was up. But when we have gotten that unction from the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, that this person is a Judas in our lives, we have to wean them out and cut them off immediately. And uh, I would say cut them off immediately. But then there are times when you can't just cut them off right away. And you have to wean them out and then cut them off. 
okay? And that could be like in a situation, like if you are living with this person or something like that. And so you have to move strategically, okay? So that it does not harm you. But then when you get um, the first opportunity that you get to cut them off completely, then you go ahead and cut them off. So, yes, my brothers and sisters, this is, you know, essential to your life. No more, you know, letting people play in your face because this could once again lead to your demise. This could lead to someone unaliving you. OK, when they are jealous and they are envious of you. And so. This is necessary. So I am here to bring confirmation to my brothers and sisters today to go ahead, if you haven't already, wean them out and cut the Judases off. You have to do what you have to do for your survival, for you and your family. Yes. So, with that being said, my brothers and sisters, I love you all. And until next time.